Hi, I'm Timothy, and these are my top 10 essentials for my own personal closet. All right, let's get it going. The first things, I mean, I guess I should probably talk about my own personal closet. Um, I've been into fashion since I was a kid. Um, one thing that I think happens with a lot of people as they get older is you want to develop a uniform, which I do feel like I've been doing for a while. At the same time, I also just allow myself for a lot of change because there's things I'm into today that I won't be into tomorrow and I, I like the change of it. So these are the things I chose pieces that have never left, or at least it's a category that's never left or a piece that's never left or has sentimental value to me in some way, shape or form. So I tried to keep it like that for this. Um, so these are all things that have been in my wardrobe for a pretty long time, or I think are staples, and I will just replace with another thing that's basically the same if once I wear them out. So let's get right into it after I did that long version up front. So I love this piece. I got this recently, a um, couple seasons ago or so. This is a Marnie cotton sweater. It is great to me because of this reason. It's basically the cotton sweaters that Ralph Lauren did forever. It's not anything super complicated. They just added the Marnie to it, which is kind of like the thing I like most that happens with designers is they'll take something super familiar and do their flip on it. And that's really what I want to see. It's not that I so much want a loud piece. It's that I want a piece that feels familiar and super wearable and then has a flip on it that makes it their own. I think that's when someone's really in their bag, that's kind of what they're doing in my opinion. Um, so this is that. It's super simple. It's a cotton knit sweater. It goes with everything. It's off the shoulders a little bit, which I like. It's a little boxier and shorter. I like all the distressing and everything. And then I love the little Marnie hit. So it's nothing too loud, just a little something. It's kind of perfect to me. It's just because it's kind of nothing crazy, but kind of crazy at the same time. So for all those reasons, that is why it made the list. Um, moving into the next piece, I actually kind of chose this because it's sort of the same thing. This is a real, this is something I wear in the summer with a pair of jeans. It's something I wear under jackets in the fall. It's just light enough that like you can kind of get away with either way. And I really like stuff like that. So it's another cotton sweater, even closer, but I really love these. I like the color on this one specific because it's very like, you know, early eighties, but it's a YSL. Um, I love the old YSL stuff. You can kind of come across it on eBay if you're careful, but don't, I don't want everyone to know that even if we're on YouTube because they're kind of hard to come by and they're getting more expensive as people understand when, you know, these designers and everything. It's not that much different than what I just showed you. It's pretty much the same. Um, it's just got the little YSL hit and it's one of those things where I don't think anyone notices at first when you wear it. They're just like, oh, that's a cute sweater or whatever. And then they're like, oh sick, is that YSL? And I don't really think they make pieces like this anymore, which is kind of a bummer because these were like the cool things that they used to put in Barney's and Neiman and everything. And it was just kind of classics made by your favorite designer, which is what I love so much about the Marnie piece. There's something super cool in the uniformity and plainness of like designer basics. Um, so I love that piece. So the next thing is this great Orslo suede jacket. I wanted just a plain suede unlined jacket for so long. And this is just like, it just checked every box for me. Um, I wanted it to be that goldish brown. I wanted it to have a lot of shag to the suede. This was, it's funny because I spent so much time on eBay looking for a vintage one. And then I end up, you know, Orso makes kind of the perfect one. So it's their normal coverall jacket. There's not a lot of frills. Um, it's just, it's simple and it works with everything and it kind of like elevates any look. Looks cool over a t-shirt, looks cool over a sweater. It's dress it up, dress it down. I, I love it, it's kind of 70s looking. It's great, feels way fancier than it is, which I like. So there's that one, I wear that a ton and I'm gonna wear it more. I want it to get really roughed up over time. Kind of a similar piece. This is the Orslo collab that we did um, last year. I think it was last year. This is the same jacket I just showed you, but in this like washed black. I thought of this idea a while ago. I don't know what it was. I just didn't, I was never finding a black cover on when I was. It was like, it was like the Carhartt black. It's like straight up black. It took a lot of beating in. I wanted something that was a little quicker. I wanted it to be closer to like denim. So I had this idea to do this jacket in this in this fabric and it turned out perfect in my opinion. It's, it's, it's kind of a blend of two different work jacket so it's a little boxier than the than the 50s style but it still has the pockets of the 50s style because i still wanted to have some utility with it 
The nice thing is because it's not super heavy and it's got the boxiness, it goes over anything. If you're wearing a huge sweater, you pop it over the top, no big deal. If you're wearing a t-shirt, it looks kind of cool and blousey and loose, kind of like old La Mer. Like it just is like, it's kind of like breezy, except for it's just a little heavier fabric. So it's not, you don't have to worry about it too much. So I bang this up. I've washed it a ton. I'm going to continue to wash it a bunch. I think it's just going to get better and I'm just going to keep beating the hell out of it. And I, and I'm at this is the thing that gets more wear than most other things. So I'll do this in a million more fabrics if I can, because I love it so much. Um, all right, into the next one. This is sort of a fun one. And I've also noticed that suddenly, I, I, didn't, I didn't start any trend because I don't post anything or do anything influential, but the, the, I've seen this around now as if it's a thing. I think it's the, you know, the height of vintage. I've had this for a long time. This is a late show with David Letterman uh, sweatshirt. It's got sick, like the necklines beat up, the hems beat up. I grew up watching Late Night. Um, it's like a huge comfort for me. I love, I, I think for a certain given amount of time, I saw every episode of The Late Show. I've seen absolutely every episode of Conan that's ever been on TV. Um, it means a lot to me and I just care, I care about the show a ton. It was such a big influence to me and like the things I like today and the music I listen to and everything. And it's still exciting when I think about it um, now and I wish there was something similar, but I love this. So this is like, this is like of all the, I collect band tees and stuff. And this is still my, one of my favorite pieces that I have as far as like, kind of like merch goes. And plus like with the like beat upness of this old disgusting fleece, it's just like perfect. It's an old, I think it's an old champion, um, but I love it. Okay, this is a little bit more utility, but like I always have these in my wardrobe. This is, I really like vintage Levi's. Um, and, uh, but I wanted to do something that's from the shop because I keep, I keep a stack of vintage Levi's all the time. And then I always have a 105 and a 107 going. Um, I have both cuts, I have both washes. Um, I think I have black ones too. I have all of them. They're like the perfect fit. It's a 501, it's classic, it goes with everything. I wanted to show these because I actually wear these. These are the ones I'm currently wearing. This is the 105. It, what's cool about this is if you can kind of notice, like if you look at the ones on our, on our site right now and versus these, I've washed and worn these. I give them a couple different, like, I'll put them through the dryer a lot. I put them, I do wet washes, I do everything, like I beat these up. So I, I buy them a size bigger, probably a size two realistically, but I, I wash my shit, so I just get a three and then I just immediately start washing it and trying to get it to soften up and beat up and I want it, I want the cotton to look a little fluffier because then you start to put in some of your own fading in on top of theirs, which they've gotten started for you. I love this jean, it goes with everything. I'm kind of a wash jean person overall. So I have, a lot of these and I'm gonna keep stacking them as I can because I just I just keep cycling them in. Um, like I said, it just goes with everything I wear. I like I like that they're washing everything. It's, I don't know, they're just great. They're the best jean. If we if there was a bunch of other cool jeans that I thought were out there, we'd carry them, but this and Vintage Levi's is all that I have. Moving along, I'm gonna do a shoe really fast. I got these recently, but it's like something I've always had. This is a pair of Gucci loafers I got for ridiculously inexpensive and I like to buy them used if you can. I think if you're buying penny loafers, you should consider this. If you get them used and they're good leather, they're already broken in. You don't have to do it and I just wanna wear my shit, so it's great. You just get them, they're used, somebody's worn them a few times and you're set to go. It's calfskin, so you're like, it's gonna age perfectly anyway. These really look used. I love bit loafers. There's something kind of waspy and cool about them, especially when you wear them with like jeans and stuff. So. I always kind of have a penny loafer, a black penny loafer floating around. I like to wear them with like white socks and it's kind of vintagey and stuffy in a cool way. And I think it pairs well with most of the other stuff I wear is like, you know, beat up tees and jackets and stuff. So you can kind of like, you know, you do them your own. So I think that like what's cool about like a Gucci loafer or a Basswegian or any other penny loafer I'm going to come up with, it, you just like everyone wears them and everyone does their own thing in them. And I think that's what kind of makes them interesting. It's kind of like jeans. Every single person that you give the same jean to is going to wear them in some different way and make them their own. And I like stuff that you kind of make your own and this feels like that. So these are the ones I'm going to wear until I, you know, bust up the soles. Um, and then I'll just get another pair and I'll get, you know, another pair of Gucci's or I'll get another pair of Weijins or whatever I do. Um, but I love those. Everyone should have a pair of those in their closet. That's easy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wait one second on those. I'm going to move on. So I also really care about sunglasses because I think that like, no matter what you're wearing, 
if you put a pair of like sick sunglasses on, you just look cool. So I'm currently, I'm wearing these. These are Bottega Veneta. It doesn't really matter what they are. I just think like black Wayfarers are cool, whether it's Ray-Bans, whether you got them cheap at a gas station, nobody really knows half the time. Uh, they're just cool. And you put them with anything you wear and suddenly you look way cooler and way more put together. And there's just something kind of like, can't put your finger on it. It's just, it is, it's cool. So I wear, I, I wear these, these ones I like. Uh, I started wearing these because like, cool influencer girls that like only eat smoothies in a day wear these and that's kind of my that's who I want to be when I grow up so I love those um all right moving on here this is the Grindle wash t-shirt this I believe I'm like 98% sure this is the original this is the first one we ever tested out with Lady White my last name is Grindle uh so that's where the name came from it was because I wanted to do a beat up band tee as a tee that you could wear every single day. This is basically, that's all it is. It's a pigment dyed vintage wash black t-shirt. I just wanted something that was gonna continue to age as you wear it. It has that almost like sunburnt look to it. Um, I just don't think there's anything cooler than band tees in my personal opinion. And this is basically like my, what I wanted to be the answer to like your basic white tee but this is your basic band tee that doesn't have anything on it so you can wear it under anything it's basically what you're doing now there's nothing cooler that's why we developed it it i've carried it at stores before this i would carry it here it's still one of our best sellers i just think there's something so cool about washed black tees and i'm going to move on to that uh with this i vacillated on this because i'm a big collector of vintage tees um band tees especially I have a bunch of cool vintage ones I never wear the vintage ones as much as I do uh, bootlegs because you pay less for bootlegs, even though you buy them now and they you know, resell for more. But I just really like that. I like the bootleg aspect of things and I like following all these guys who do designs and everything. And so I ended up actually choosing a bootleg of, of, a, t of a tee I have the original of um, because I wear it more. And that's this My Bloody Valentine shirt. This is my like all time favorite band. I don't think there's anyone better in all honesty. They're just the coolest and they sound the coolest and they like guitar pedals like me. And I love this tee. It's kind of freaky and it's really beat up and it's got the, you know, the scraggle marks in it that you get from it getting beat up. It's got them on the back. It's on this big old, basically Grindel wash t-shirt. It doesn't even have a, they boot them on old vintage tees. So I'm not even sure what this is, um, but it's big, it's an XL. I put it on with jeans, throw a jacket over it or don't. And it's just, there's nothing cooler. Um, so yeah, so that's why that's in there because it's my favorite band and it's one of my favorite boots. Um, so that's that one. And then I got one last thing. This is, I've never even worn these, more for sentimental reason, but a friend of ours made me these. So this is a one of one, and this is an Air Force One canoe club. So we got the canoe club hit there. We got the pinky swear on the back on the fresh ones. I've never worn these. I probably won't. They just sit on display in my house because I think they're cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a cool one of one that I have. So I thought it would be cool to share them because otherwise they just they just sit on a shelf in my house. But um, but yeah, they're they're cool for uh, you know because they're Air Force One and they say Canoe Club on them. And we didn't do a collab with them. Um, all right, so that's everything. I mean, like I said, it's mostly just like basics and I have like multiples and different variables of kind of the same category or the same piece because I try to stay with things that are classic and then just have flips on them. Um, like I said, I don't think any of this is ever gonna leave my closet. These are all things that I wear weekly. Um, and yeah, it's all stuff I really love. So hopefully you get some inspo or you know more about us or I don't know. Hopefully you had fun. Um, if you did or didn't, you can like, comment, or subscribe and uh, see more of this. And uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions or you have any questions about this stuff or want to see more, uh, just let us know. That's what we're here for. All right. Bye.